I love pasta. Cry Baby Pasta opened its doors three weeks ago. We feature all house-made pastas. We've got a great wine program here, and it's just meant to be a fun, casual restaurant. The restaurant is named after the Janis Joplin song, Cry Baby, an ode to the legendary musician and a nod to the atmosphere they're trying to create. Most it's about the music. The music we wanted to play here was kind of rock and roll. The restaurant marks the return of Bridget Foy and her husband, Paul Rodriguez, to the food scene after their first restaurant Bridget Foy's burned down in 2017. The fire was really you know devastating. We were family run restaurant. We've been there for almost 40 years and I think when that happened it was really almost like the death of a family member. Cry Baby has given its loyal customers a place to call home until Bridget Foy's reopens on South Street. All of the regulars and people that have been going there for their whole lives couldn't be more happier for us here and more excited to come and see us. The menu includes charred broccoli with anchovy. Category of bruschettas, it's all house-made focaccia. This is a chicken liver with balsamic onions. Italian salad with buffalo mozzarella. We were trying to do a more vegetable focus. It's lighter and cleaner. And of course, their signature handmade pasta. Campanelle with breadcrumb, broccoli rob, and feo sardo, the nice cheese. A smoked pecorino. I feel like we're bringing the whole package. This particular piece is uh, from Bangkok, Thailand. Cha Thai Thai is a new spot in Midtown Village for old-fashioned Thai cooking. Authentic Thai food. I want to go backward to how people cooked 200 years ago. The restaurant is decorated with artifacts straight from Thailand. The wood is like 800 years old. I spent one month to get all this together. Chef Venus Kapatong grew up in Thailand. I'm so proud to be Thai and I want to showcase what Thai food is all about. She moved to the U.S. in 19. I can be in the kitchen all day long. And brought along her family recipes that have now made their way onto her menu. Panang curry chart rib. This is her grandmother's recipe, rich with holistic ingredients. Coffee lamb leaf is a really good antioxidant. It's fighting cancer. That's what Thai food is. Thai food is also the medicine. And there are riffs on classic Thai dishes. Small Bangkok style pad Thai. They offer a healthy selection of vegetarian and vegan dishes. Mainly root vegetable like carrot, potato, pumpkin. The experience is meant to be authentic food with genuine decor. Cooking Thai food to me is like a spiritual journey because each ingredient has the meaning. Moorestown is the newest home to Hash House A Go Go. We call it twisted farm food. The Midwestern inspired menu is known for its oversized breakfasts. It was delicious and the portions were huge. The pancake itself was larger than the plate. It's really good food. It's scratch made. The sage fried Chicken Benedict is a crowd pleaser, and their chicken and waffles is a house favorite. We start with a vanilla waffle. We add four slices of bacon that are actually cooked into the waffle. It's topped with fried leeks and a maple reduction. Comfort food is what we're uh, providing. We think it's a great concept for the families in the area. And the gut-busting portions will leave you with plenty of leftovers. Farm food, absolutely. This is something that you would get at Grandma's house. It's so great to see Bridget back in her original location yeah. on South Street, still under construction, but they hope to have it back in business this year.